guys, so this is the ready reference section. Um, we got Rome over here, which is already out for us, which is the Oxford Classical Dictionary. We also have the um, Oxford Encyclopedia of Ancient Egypt, which is an incredibly handy tool. So um, this is also online. I'll show you how to use it once again later, once we log on the computers. Um, the great thing about these books is that after every entry, there's a whole set of other um, bibliographical sources you can use. So build up your sources, references, so um, yeah, there's a lot more information in here. So if you have an essay question about temples, you look under the entry for temple and it gives you a summary of what it would be about and then the whole list of references, um, which you can look up on the catalogue and up you go. Um, also with the classics one, there is the Poly, <laughs> yeah, which is also online for those doing classics and it works the same way. That's true. You've got the RE, which is the encyclopedia, and that's the reference to about a 36-volume book. Um, you need to order that online. It's now over in the new library through the ARCS system. Um, there's also the Brills Poly, um, which is a reference for ancient authors. So you can um, have a look at that as well if you want to find out more about ancient authors. So the ready reference section should be your first point of contact for any assignment. There are some more Graphical ones there, lexicon. Also, one important thing with the, with the encyclopedia, even though they're in a, there's some that are in German or French, they're still useful, to, so don't be scared that they're in another language. Just go to the end and just read the references, and they can lead you to more sources. So, if you just want to go, just more of your reference books for Egyptology. Uh, we got the Lexicon de Egyptology, which is in German, but, but don't let that scare you. Don't freak out. Yep. Why? Or should they freak I out? I already <laughs> mentioned that go to the end, look at the references only. Um, but there are some English articles in there, so yeah. you're lucky. Okay, you also have the um, Encyclopedia of the Archaeology of Ancient Egypt. There's also a really another good book, which isn't actually here. It's um, the British, British Museum Dictionary. So that is um, has all the artifacts to do with Egyptology that are in the British Museum. And um, there's pictures of them, information about them. Once again, like the um, Oxford Encyclopedia of Ancient Egypt, it has reference to other sources. So once again, more sources, more information. Okay, um, we'll go down this way. Talking about this one before, the Dictionary of Ancient Egypt from the British Museum. Um, like I said, it's got a lot of images, um, information, and then you have the references after each entry. So that's another really good book. Put it back to it. section and before we have a look at the reserve, we'll go up to the main collection now. The main collection is the same as the reserve section in its ordering. It's all ordered in the by the Library of Congress system, which is a subject, so it's by subject. So when you're searching for something, it may not be with other topics that you have to search around and it gives you a lot of scope for different areas that you can look at. So all your fine arts are together and all your languages are together. So you need to look in different areas and by subject. When we have a look at the catalogue, we'll show you that. We'll just have a look at the different subjects that you can just try and find. So I'll go up and have a look now. It's all in alphabetical order through by subject. Thanks. And it's one more.